Well, family, we've done it again. Only this time, I don't know if this should be these happy Thursdays because we used Crown Royal Peach for our cobbler, or should this be on a regular post? Maybe it will be both. You all, this is absolutely delicious. Look at this cobbler. <gasps> Lord, have mercy. Look at this. You want to make this with me? You know, this doesn't have to be made with the Crown Royale. You can make it without it. You want to see how to make it? Come on, let's go. Let's cook with ease. I love you guys, and thank you for watching. Peace. Well, this Crown Royale Peach Cobbler is going to be incredible because look at everything that's going to go into it. There's so many different layers of flavor that we have here. I'm going to use two cans of peaches, these little caramel, you've seen these in the produce section, little, they're for apples or whatever you want. They're caramel dip little singles. The star of the show is Crown Royale Peach. We have some brown sugar, cornstarch, Sprite soda. I'm gonna give it a little twist. We have some ginger, ground nutmeg, cinnamon, cinnamon sugar, apple pie spice, some vanilla flavoring. We have some sugar. We're gonna use some pie crust and phyllo dough. Butter, lemon, eggs, and that's about it. We may use a little bit of water depending on how thick everything is. So this is everything we're gonna put into our peach cobbler. Definitely wanna know what you think. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. As always, I wanna welcome everyone. Welcome to the new friends we have on here. Hey, you all get to know each other and just communicate. We have a great bunch of friends here, so uh, let's continue to just be friendly to each other and to grow together. All right, next step, I'll be right back. Thank you, everyone. I started browning the butter. This is only one stick of butter and it smells so good. All right, now you know, peach cobbler, it depends on how you make it. So in this peach cobbler, I'm gonna put a cup of brown sugar. I'm gonna put a cup of white sugar. Now let me stir this up. This is gonna become like caramel. Oh my gosh, I wish you all could smell this right now. I'm also going to add, you all are going to be surprised at this. I'm going to add a cup of Sprite to our mixture. It's going to give it, oops, it's going to give it. That's all right. Tangy citrus lemon flavor. Now what I'm gonna do next is let this come to a boil. Oh my gosh. I wish you all could see this. I'm gonna turn the heat up just a little bit. Cause I want this to, sorry. I'm going to add 
my ginger, a couple shakes of ginger, nutmeg. Now as always, you decide how much you want. I have to taste it later to see if I have to add anything. Got my cinnamon. Now these are essential in any kind of cobblers. You know that. And this has everything yummy in it. Apple pie spice. Now let's let this get all friendly and incorporate it. I'm going to let this come to a boil and I'll show you what the next step is. Awesome. Now, our mixture is starting to boil and I made this little slurry here. It's cornstarch and water. I put three tablespoons of cornstarch and then I put three tablespoons of water. And what you're gonna see is this is gonna become like a gravy. This is our slurry. Because we want our cobbler to have thickness to it. So as this thickens, it's gonna be like a juicy peach gravy. You all, do I even have to tell you what this smells like? Oh my goodness. So I went ahead and I drained the juice from the peaches. So I'm gonna add the juice of the peaches now. I'm not gonna put all of it in there. I'm also gonna put my vanilla flavoring in. I'm gonna put about a tablespoon. I'm going to let this come to a boil. I didn't put all the peach juice in there because it's just best to do this slowly because I want this to be thick. And it's okay to save some of the juice. Now, I'm going to wait to add this. I'm going to let this boil a little bit and then I'm going to add the peaches. So let me bring this to a boil. I'll be right back. Very good. I can see that it's starting to boil. And I'm going to put a little lemon juice. Add more flavor. This is going to give it an incredible flavor. Now I'm going to add, I think I'm going to start off with, I better measure this. Let me see. Well, I get heavy handed sometimes with this. Let me see. I'm going to start off with about half a cup. I'm going to put half a cup of Crown Royale in here. That's half a cup. I'm gonna have to taste it. You all know I'm gonna have to taste it. Make sure that it's good. I put it in last, because it's gonna cook out, but not all the, oh my, look at that syrup. This is so beautiful. Beautiful, it's nice and thick. Oh, look at that, it's nice and thick. Okay, now I'm going to add our peaches in here. Hey, you all. I wish you could smell this. I want those 
clothes to become nice and friendly with each other. Now, I'm going to leave these alone for a while. So everything can get incorporated. I'm going to leave those alone and I'll be back. Boy, oh boy. Okay, so I wanted you to see I added another stick of butter in here because I wanted to have more flavor. Look at this, you all. I really wish you all could smell this. This smells so good. All right, so I baked this for about five minutes. I didn't want it to get all the way done because I'm going to bake this in the oven for about 45 minutes. So now, I think we're gonna have enough for two. Let me move this over. I'm going to scoop this in here. It's beautiful, you all. So beautiful. I don't want to load too much juice in here. I can always do that last. <sighs> Look at this. Oh my goodness. You can smell everything in here. Tell me this is not beautiful. Wow, oh, look at these beautiful peaches. You can see the cinnamon. You can smell the nutmeg. Can you hear my mouth watering right now while I'm doing this? Take some of this juice out. Oh my goodness, my family. My family, this might be enough for this. Might not have enough for two. gonna finish placing the peaches in here and then we'll get back to the toppings okay now here comes the part I'm going to add just some little drops of caramel throughout the dish Let's see what's the best way Just some little drops. Maybe I can do it like this. Just to give it some more flavor. I'm not doing a whole lot. Just like when somebody gets their slice, they'll say, oh, wow, what's that? I might need to open up another one. Maybe not. This is probably enough. Yeah, this is going to be enough. There are no rules, everything is optional. Just wanted to, you know, I like to add little surprises to things. So let me stir that in, just mix it in. It's going to dissolve, it's going to be beautiful. Just mix it in. Oh my goodness, you guys, it smells so good. Wonderful. Okay, now I'm trying something different. I'm going to use this phyllo dough. It's puff pastry. I'm gonna see how this turns out. I'm really curious. I had melted some butter and I also have some eggs that I'm going to put on top of here. I'm just curious to see how this is going to turn out. We'll see. You know, it's okay to experiment and try to try to do things differently because this is butter. This is full of butter. Doesn't have to be perfect. Oh, you know what I should do first before I put that on? 
me brush this on here to make sure. Make sure each piece gets topped with this because phyllo dough, it will dry out really fast. See, look at it. All you have to do, I better hurry up. I think the heat from the cobbler, see how easily it goes back down? It goes back down easily. But you gotta work fast with this. It feels the heat from the, uh, Moisture from the uh, cobbler is getting to it. You gotta work fast. I'm just experimenting, you all. And the sheets are very thin. So let me hurry up, do this fast. All right, so I'm gonna get through all of these sheets and I'm going to show you what this looks like after I finish working with it. I hope this turns out pretty. I'll be right back. All right, the directions tell us that we can spray with some non-stick spray. So this is butter flavored. So I'm just going to see what that does. And I also have some... Um, I have some cinnamon sugar. I'm gonna put this, just sprinkle a little over the top. I'm going to bake this in the oven for 45 minutes to an hour. And we'll see what happens. Keep your fingers crossed. All right, get ready to pull this out of the oven. So you can see it. Oh my goodness. I wish you all could smell this house right now. Turn the oven off. <gasps> Look at this, you all. I had to cover up the sides so they don't burn. <gasps> Ooh, you all fresh out the oven. Take a look at that. Now this has to cool. Let's give it, I don't know, I don't want to mess it up. I hope my family can wait. Look at it, this is just bubbling all over. All right, let's let this cool down. We'll get into it in a minute. Here we go. Let's see. First piece is always hard to cut. Here we go. Oh gosh, it smells so good. Let me see if this will work. Oh, it smells so good, you all. It's still a little, still a little warm. right there. Ooh, look at that. Oh, it smells so good. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, that's pretty. Look. Look at that. The crust is beautiful. Now let's put some ice cream on here. 
Oh, there's a peach. Can't let that one get away. Oh, well, it got away. Let's put some ice cream on here. Try this out. I'll see you later.